Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Transamu of Transcendence was released February 10th, 2023, and introduces us to two new archetypes, Dice and Prime. I will receive the new dice cards including Dice Arc Swordsman, Dice Arc Angel, Dice Arc Demon, and Dice Might Girl Chiori. I will also receive new Joint Tech support including Joint Techness Tridar Tank, Darkness Joint Tech Tyrant, and Joint Tech Tridina Base. Finally, I'll receive the following assorted boss monsters Secret Base Guardian Miss Hop, Seven Sphere Magician, Jinzo the Machine Menace. Jinzo Amplified, Deity of the Seven Treasures, Ryozai, Celebro's Influences, Murin Duke, the Shadowflower Wave, Nelkrita, the Sky Savior Hadal, and Swift Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Alex will receive the new Prime cards, including Prime Claw Girl, Prime Track Tiger, Prime Bandijo, Prime Dean Keto, Prime Pierce Giant, Prime Cat Strania, Transamu Prime Armor Nova, and Transamu Prime Full Armor Nova. He will also receive the following boss monsters. Black Skull Dragon, Abyss Slayer Quintiamat, Can STD, Super Graphagus Archer, Prophecy Flail of the Colors of the Wind at Butterflies and Flowers, and Transamu Velja Rhinac. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Celebros or Light Spellcasters. So we did get some pretty cool new cards, one of which being a new boss monster in Celeb Rose Influences, but we probably won't be going into this card too much, but we'll go over it. It is a 2500 attack level 7 monster, so it's a little bit on the weaker side, but we can place one monster from our opponent's graveyard to the bottom of the deck, which is pretty good to mess with your opponent's graveyard. This card gains attack equal to the level of the monster placed by this effect times 200, so if we do send a maximum or a level 8 monster, we can gain quite a lot of attack. At the end of the turn, then if this card is equipped with an equipped spell card, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects and can make two attacks on monsters so it's not a bad boss monster the most interesting thing about it is that it's made using celebros enchanter and celebros witch so enchanter is a bit of an annoying card because we have to shuffle two cards from our hand into the deck but other than the cost the effect is actually quite good it's a way to get fusion back and that's a way to bring back level five or higher monsters which is really important because that can get us witch which just gets us into magician or it can get us into warlock which has a lot of practical uses, but the main one is going to be we'll use Warlock to bring back Magician, which gets back Witch, and then we can go into a fusion. Then the main fusion target is actually always going to be Luxury Magicians. Luxury Magicians then brings back Warlock. Warlock can then activate its effect, bring back Magician and Witch. Then ideally we fuse them again into a second Luxury Magicians, and then we have this kind of loop going where we can use Luxury Magician to bring back Sorcerer, use Sorcerer Effect to just keep going through that loop, and then we can get access to all of our Death Ones that are in our graveyard, which can be a very, very strong board. The other new card that we really got is the Secret of Manifestation, which is very, very cool. We can send out to two monsters from our hand and or field to the graveyard, draw one card, then we can special summon one level 5 or higher light attribute spellcaster type monster from our graveyard face up to our field. You cannot activate monster effects for this turn except light attribute spellcaster type monsters, which doesn't really matter because our entire deck is basically that. But we can use this to go into Warlock or we can just go into Witch, both of which are absolutely fantastic and can get us to our main combo. The only hard part about this deck is really accessing fusion. We do have a couple ways to get there, such as Mage, or the enchanter but if it does end up in our graveyard a lot of the time it's a bit difficult to get it out so it can get a bit funky we've also decided to go with time wizard because it's the only light spell caster with an effect because we've decided to sideboard our legend magician and legend strike package which is why we've also got the mystical elf in there so just because we want to always make sure we have access to three light spell casters to make sure all of our effects can work correctly we've just decided to jam this because it's a bit of fun but yeah, this is the deck. We're feeling reasonably confident. Celebros has always been a very, very powerful deck, and we have always really, really gelled with the deck. I think this is potentially the most powerful the deck has ever been. So again, we're feeling very, very confident going into this. Let's fire on in and see if we can try and not get 3-0'd by Alex this week. Last week, we had quite a interesting one, because we had... An archetype that I'd been looking forward to for quite a long time, which is also a 
like legacy archetype that got brought into Rush in the Jinzo, which was a little bit underwhelming, but I think that, that might come down to just kind of RNG, and we'll have to see if that deck actually starts performing in events and stuff, and, you know, if I bring it in the future, if it does any better. But more importantly, you stole the show with your Prime deck, which is the latest Antagonists deck. So, historically, the Antagonist decks have been a bit funky, right? The first Antagonist deck was Yug Drago, which was your deck. Then the next one was the Metallians, which was also your deck. But then the next one was the Reptiles, which ended up being my deck, which I actually thought was surprising because you got first dibs on it and you chose to not pick it. Um, so right. there, was, there was an alternate universe where you just had Reptiles in your pool and just all of the all of the villains, I guess. But the final villain was Dark Spellcasters. So I was always going to have like the Sevens villain. But the latest villain, and I think this is the overarching villain of all of Go Rush, is his name is uh, Quidal, I think. It's Quidal. But he is the prime user, and he basically captures everyone and steals all their boss monsters and turns them into prime versions and blah de blah de blah But we got to see them in action. And again, I felt a little bit underwhelmed by their boss monsters. Obviously, we never actually saw you summon out your main boss, your big fusion, using Prime Armor Nova, whatever it's called. Yeah. But we did see your cat, and we did see your piercing dwarf, and I thought those two were a little bit underwhelming, but your spell card was very, very good. But we still have a ton of decks left to bring so i'm actually not entirely sure what you're going to be bringing i think if i was going to just make a hard read probably rebels i'm gonna go with rebels i can't really okay. think what else you've got available outside of like some of the older stuff from so stuff left from like this set rebels seems the most prominent you got any idea what you think i'm gonna be on uh, I'm going to guess Joint Tech. Yeah, Joint Tech is a really cool one. Um, I mean, you'll see if I'm on it in a minute, I guess. Should we, uh, should we just fire it in? Yeah, let's go. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Yay. Uh, that, uh... I brick game one of last week. You get to brick game one of this week. That's fine. Okay. I think this might actually be pretty much the play I made last week on my turn one. Oh, I had a bike horn in attack mode, that's right. Okay, okay, okay. We have some stuff we can do. So let's start by normal summoning Celebro's Wiz. So we're going to go ahead and activate the effect. I'm going to reveal to you my Blade Braid Reader and then mill some cards. Unfortunately, I did not hit anything I can take back to my hand, which is a bit of a shame, but can't all be winners, right? Next up, we will summon out Blade Braid Reader. We'll activate its effect. And I'll discard and mill some more cards. And we are not getting any of those cards back to our hand, unfortunately, which is kind of what we were hoping for. But we still have options. I probably shouldn't go too deep, just because ending on, like, no cards does not seem like a good idea. So, I will probably just set this i'm then going to tribute set and then i'm just going to attack with a thousand attack monster let's see what you got okay a thousand defense Ooh. okay so you did i forgot about this you did get some low level monsters that do support the aqua deck okay and a new fusion got a new fusion Which, oh uh crof 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 graf graf graphagus whatever his name yeah, is yeah archer crof graf 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 yeah I completely forgot about uh, that. Um, activate her effect. Then okay. Electro Lion. Just send a fire attribute effect monster from your hand to the graveyard, draw one card, and you can place all super assistant Achi from your graveyard to the bottom of your deck. If you do, draw two cards. This card is actually crazy, right? Like, if you have Achi mm. in grave, this is discard, draw three. That is a plus two. Tribute um, summon. Okay, Steam okay. Swallow Gem ZZ, or Gems. <laughs> Create as monsters on the field, special summon one level two or lower fight attribute thunder type monster from your graveyard to your field, face up defense position, then you can set fusion. Okay, so this is pretty cool. So now we get out Electro Line. Bande, is that how we're calling this? Bond? Bande? Mm -hmm. Something like that. You have two or less monsters on your field, you can send cards to the deck to the graveyard, equal to the number of face up pirate, aqua, and or thunder type monsters times two. So you could mill four cards. 
Okay, so we'll just take a peek at what you milled. Splame, another gem, higher, seven treasures. Activate fusion. Okay, so these two fuse. Ah, because this one's just randos. Okay, so we can send up to three cards from our hand to the graveyard, including a monster. This card gains attack equal to the level of the monster sent to the graveyard to meet the requirement times 100 until the end of your opponent's next turn. That's annoying. Then, if you have sent three monsters with different types to the graveyard to meet this requirement, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. So, we're going to send two. We're going to gain a ton of attack. Keeping that last card in hand. So we obviously want to keep it. Which means it's probably a maximum piece. Let's start with Celebro's Wiz. We'll activate the effect. I'm going to reveal Celebro's Wiz in my hand. And then I will add... Oh, I click no. Ah, that was dumb. Okay, that's fine. We don't need it. We don't need it. I will then... All right, we'll flip summon Celebro's Warlock. This is our tribute set. So I can tribute up to two face-up level 5 or lower monsters on my field. Or send them to the graveyard even. To special summon a level 7 or higher light attribute spell customers from my graveyard face up to my field. If I special summon Celebro's Magician by this effect, I can special summon a Celebro's Witch. Now, unfortunately, right now, I don't actually have either of those in my graveyard. Which is a little bit annoying. But I can do this. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the Secret of Manifestation. So I can send up to two monsters from my hand and or field to the graveyard to draw one card. Then I can special summon a level 5 or higher Light Attribute Spell Custom Monster from my graveyard, face up to my field. But I cannot activate effects for the rest of the turn except Light Attribute Monsters. So, I think to actually make room, I'm going to send both of these. Mind you, I'm just going to bring back Celebro's Warlock again, right? But I don't even need to get rid of it. I could just send the one. Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, next up, I will summon out Celebro's Wiz. Activate the effect. Reveal Blade Brave Reader in hand. And this time I will click yes and add cards back to my hand. <laughs> ah, now which one do I actually want? I don't need either of these actually, now that I think about this. Right, we'll just take Witch. We'll take Witch to hand. Now, I'm going to activate a second Secret of Manifestation. And I'm going to send... I guess this and this. And then I could special summon back. I don't even need to special summon. But I've already clicked the button now. I'll bring back Magician. Unfortunately, Magician's effect only works. Oh, your guy's level 8 conveniently. That's an interesting number. Okay. I will activate Death Wand on my Magician. I'll then activate Magician effect. Send Death Wand to pop your monster. Oh. Set this, go straight battle. Right, we'll go in for 11. We'll go with 28. And then we'll pass. Okay. Not the the craziest turn, but we... Not too bad either, I don't think. Oh, it's Achi. And Achi. This is a blast from the past, hello. <laughs> uh, <it's laughs> <awesome. laughs> okay, so this brings back Cophographicus. Chromatographicus. Into Star Restart. This gets what, what, Achi and Fusion? Then we drop the Fusion. I've forgotten what this is, why I say forgotten. I don't think I've ever actually read this card. Place a level 7 Pyrotech Normal Monster through your graveyard on top of your deck, gains 2500 attack to the end of this turn, then you commit one face at level 9 or lower monster on your opponent's field, lose 1500 attack. Okay. So it's a, a little OTK machine, that's what I'm learning here. Yes. Wait, you knew this was never connecting. Oh. Boom boom. Now, I don't know what your back row is. Uh, I don't think I have a way to play around your back row, so I think I'm just going to have to kind of just do stuff. All right, we'll flip up Celebro Sorcerer. We're going to go ahead and activate Celebro Sorcerer. So I'm going to send all three of my monsters to the grave. I'm going to bring back Celebro's... No, that was the wrong one. Hmm... Just clicked on the complete wrong monster. Okay. 
Um, this is fine. Ah, uh, so what I, what I meant to do was choose Warlock, then use Warlock's effect to bring back both Magician and Witch, but I skipped a step. Ah, uh, that's annoying, because that would have been very, very strong. So I have a couple of options. I guess I'm going to Normal Summon Celebro's Mage, activate Mage effect. I will take back Fusion. Then... We'll summon out Blade Braid Reader. Tribute 2 to summon out Celebro's Magician. We'll activate and give Celebro's Magician a little wand. And then we'll activate and give Celebro's Magician a little wand. Then I'm going to set, go to battle, and see what you've got. Oh, is it nothing? Is it nothing? Yeah, it's nothing. Oh, I thought I'd, like, because if you had had any legend trap there, well, I suppose it would have to have been, um, like, negate attack or... I guess negate attack, I couldn't have done anything anyway. But if it was um, Magic Cylinder, I was like, I've just missed lethal, which is so sad. But it was okay. We did okay. Um, and again, we did get to see some of your really cool fusion monsters, even though, you know, they got, they got outed. But we, we did get to see what your deck can do in that game one. Let's see if it uh, gets to do it a little bit quicker in game two, I guess. Okay. Uh, well, on the plus side, I haven't actually taken a game off you in the last two weeks, so... <laughs> yeah. At least I've got one on the board. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. The standard open. Alright, Alex, do we go for the funny play? What do you think? Yes. Okay, we're going to do it because you, you declared yes, so we're going to go for the funny play. I summon Time Wizard! <laughs> Time roulette, go! Uh, yes! <laughs> uh, don't don't be too worried. I don't have a ton of damage to throw at you. Um, well, I guess I'll summon this. So it's, it is a light spellcaster monster. <laughs> That's why it is in the deck. <laughs> because a lot of my restrictions really need me to hit like three light spellcasters. And I was like, well, I don't want to just get stuck on non-light spellcasters and not be able to do anything. Oh, let's... Ooh, it's higher. This is a plus two. Oh, that's so good. Good old Gen Z. Brings back Lion. There's a mill four if you want it. Oh, uh, I mean, it's not bad. You got Chromatographicus in the graveyard, which I assume is where you want it. Dead, didn't we? <gasps> it's Doki Doki Hexen House. Chromatographicus, right? The art on this card goes way harder than it needed to for just a 2500 vanilla. <laughs> right, which one are you hitting? You hit Charis Magic Scepter Death Wand. But will you run into Mirror Force again? Do, 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 do. do you know it's now illegal, by the way, in tournaments to say that? You're not allowed to hint at what your back row is. To, like mislead your uh, opponent. Uh, I don't know. Three oh, the issue with your deck is you're playing so many Aquas nope. and Thunders. <laughs> no, I don't. I mean, you don't need oh. it, right? This is still 5,000. So this is going to be, what, 3,200 damage in and clear two monsters? Or I got the mass completely wrong. That's a hand! What the fudge do I do with this? I mean, there's an obvious play here, but. After that, it all gets a bit skew -iffy. All right, I think we always have to do this. So we'll go Graceful Charity. Okay, that... Uh, does that actually fix any of my problems? If I use this, I need to discard. If I use this, I need to discard. All right, as much as this feels weird, I think I'm going to discard these two. Next up, I'm going to Normal Summon Celebro's Wiz. We're going to fire off Celebro's Wiz effect. So I'm going to reveal Celebro's Wiz. And then I can add a card back to my hand, so I can choose to take back Witch. Now, there isn't much of a reason to take Witch right now, because I don't have a Magician in Grave. So I think I will take back Fusion. Next up, I'm going to summon Celebro's Wiz. I'll activate the effect, and I'll reveal Celebro's Magician from hand. And get Milling again. What do I? Do I need Witch in hand? I have no way to get to Witch right now, so I guess I will... 
Oh no, it's only Magician I can take. I mean, that's why we'll take Magician now. Activate Charis Magic Elegant Change. So I can discard a light attribute spellcaster monster or an equip spell from my hand to the graveyard to draw one card. If I have four or more monsters in my graveyard, I can draw one additional card. So we will be drawing two. Flip over the Blade Braid Reader. I'll go ahead and activate its effect. And I will just send Slepro's Magician. Then I'll add an equip spell back. I will activate Secret of Manifestation. And I'll send this and this to Grave. Now I can special summon a level 5 or higher light spellcaster type monster from my graveyard. Uh, I think we just don't take a card. Alright, now I can tribute to summon out Slebro's Warlock. Activate Warlock effect. So I can send Warlock and bring back Magician. And because I brought back Magician, I can also bring back Witch. Then I can activate Fusion. And combine my two monsters together to make Fabulous Magician. Then I can activate Fabulous Magician. Uh, so I send a card from my hand to the graveyard to destroy... Oh, this is the wrong one. I was meant to summon the other one. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. But we can... Oh, can we recover from this? Maybe. All right, we'll discard this. And we'll pop this, I guess. And then I'll add back my equip spell. Uh, so I'd have the tribute for this. Okay, I think we can recover. I'll tribute to summon out Slepper's Witch, activate the effect, discard, bring back this, then I can activate Fusion and make the one I actually meant to make, <laughs> <laughs> which is Luxury Magicians. Then we can activate Luxury Magicians to bring back uh, Warlock. Then we'll activate Warlock, send itself, and we'll bring back Fabulous Magician. Then I can activate Fabulous Magician, discard and pop this, take back my Charis Magic. Then I can activate this on, I guess we'll just put it on Luxury, go to Battle, and we'll swing. And we will swing. Oh, yeah, so the Light Spellcaster deck got a bit of a glow up, as you uh, probably noticed there. Yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah, my sorry, sorry my turns took so long, and I misplayed a bunch there as well. But, um, <laughs> so what I could, what I should have done would be go into Luxury Magicians, then in, I would have had enough because I did a second fusion to make a second Luxury Magicians. So I could have gone Luxury Magicians, bring back Warlock, Warlock, bring back uh, both of the other two uh, fusion materials. Use into a second Luxury Magicians. Luxury Magicians then brings back the Sorcerer, who can send all three of my monsters to the grave to bring back Warlock. Warlock then brings back uh, the Luxury Magicians again, and then the loop just keeps going and going and going. Uh, and by doing that, I can end up with a board of two Luxury Magicians, Celebro's Magician, and all three of the Equip Spells. Um, but I did mess it up a bit. But yeah, this is the power of just like having lots of cards that can loop together, right? This is why cards like, um, God, what was it called? Progress Potter and stuff have been limited because looping is a pain in the ass, right? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this deck get hit a little bit just because loops are bad, right? So I don't think the deck itself necessarily needs a hit in terms of like its power level, but the fact it can loop through and do all of this stuff means it does need to get hit. Would you like to play a game three since that one was a bit naff or do, do, uh, did, you, did you not want to play another game against this deck? I would completely understand if you don't. I don't know. <laughs> That's just going to happen again, isn't it? Uh, it depends if I get lucky, right? I didn't manage to do it in game one, but... Uh, yeah, let's try it. Let's go. Okay, let's get game three going then. Okay. Hmm. Well, four cards out of the hand at least. Let's go with Legend Magician. So we can get here. One, two, three. I mean, we will send this, but unfortunately the rest of my turn is not going to be particularly exciting. 
We'll go battle phase, and we will see if we can get over this. We had a thousand defense monster last time. Ah, I'll pass. It's interesting that one of your fusion materials is actually a 0 15. Hmm. Good enough. Hmm. <laughs> I think um, the Yami Ruler one, what's it called? Uh, Valkyrian Needlecree or Needlecree Socrit, whatever it's called. But um, that one has 1400 defense. Yeah. Hi. Uh, you'd almost uh, rather I had killed actually at this point. <laughs> yeah. It's fine, I'll defend. From that to graphic. Still love his art. All the pyro cards look so cool. Is happy. Splain. Uh, right, death wand. Uh, Exit house. Oh god. Oh okay. Oh, for a second there, I thought you milled another chromatographicus, and I was going to be like, oh no. No, unfortunately not. Go to battle. Oh. Ow. They oh. are. Ow. Okay, 3,600 life points. Uh, mm, eh. Alright, I guess we summon Wiz. We'll activate Wiz and we'll reveal that we have a Magician in hand. Uh, no, no ads, feels bad man. Now, I guess we will fire off the Legend Strike. We'll bring back the magician. Then we're gonna pop pop the middle one. That was Firefall Blaze Barrier. Okay. We're gonna activate Legend Magician. One, two. Well, there's no better place for Celebro's magician than in my graveyard, so we'll put that in there. <sighs> no matter how I do this, I don't actually end on what I want. So we're gonna set this. Alright, we will tribute both my monsters and summon out Celebro's Magician. Then there's literally no point in doing this at all, so we will set this. We will then go to battle. I will attack into Achi. And pass. Hmm. Uh, oh, no. Hiya. Hiya. Here it comes. Oh, Legend Monster to the grave there. The okay. Uh, well, we do have Celeb Revelation. Will keep us in this a little bit longer, at least. Sure. I can bounce these both back to your hand. Mm. Mm, okay. I still really need to find a fusion spell. <laughs> So we're going to go uh -huh. whiz. Uh, yeah, I reveal. <laughs> yes, apparently it's eluding both of us at the moment. Uh, oh, that's not a fusion spell. Okay. Next up. All right, get ready for the ultimate play. I flip up my Celebro Sorcerer. I'm going to activate the effect. I'm going to send all three to the grave to bring back whiz again. Well, then add death one to my hand. Upset it even. Oh, it's normal summon. Damn. <laughs> I thought I was being big brain. I was being small brain. <laughs> All right. Uh, we do have a second whiz. We have another chance. Dig, dig, dig. Reveal. Yeah. All right. We have managed to hit a fusion. Now, what can we do with said fusion? We can definitely do a fuse. Our tribute to summon out Celebro's Witch. Activate Witch Effect. Discard and bring back Celebro's Magician. Drop the fusion down. And we will make everybody's favorite Luxury Magicians. Ah, so Luxury Magicians gets me an extra body. So we'll activate the effect. And we will be summoning. It comes out in defense mode as well, I believe. So it's not going to be super exciting, but we will bring this back. Uh, we'll go ahead and use Charis Magic Death Wand just so we don't die to anything. Ooh. I mean, I don't think it matters. If you've got Magic Cylinder, I was dead anyway, right? Because I would be on 100 life 
but getting the extra thousand here doesn't actually matter. Then we'll attack him with this and pass. Uh, strip of seven. Well, putting those cards back in your hand ended up kind of helping in a way. Uh, so don't forget, my Luxury Magicians uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects and can attack monsters twice. I might see the lines in my head, it's like, Summon, Summon, Tribute, Hex and House, Bring Back, Chromatographica, Summon, Aichi, or Achi, Drop Fusion. Yeah. Make a big 5,500 guy. Attack over my 1,000 attack guy, GG. Viper <laughs> assistant. Okay, so your opponent has a monster on the field, send this face copy for the graveyards, press someone level 7 higher pirate type monster from your hand, face it to your field, then if you have super snatch your graveyard, monster press someone gates eight for attack. Okay. Oh, it Oh, it better be no monster on the fuck. Uh... I did the same thing just now. <laughs> Alright, here comes secret order. So just that on its own, I'm only, um, 1,100 off of dead anyway. This is this is auto lethal, right? I think I can't remember what the requirement was. Send a pyro type normal monster from your graveyard to the top of the deck. Yes, that this is an auto get up to the attack with no back crit. You know, I can't stop you. So here it comes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you can spin plates if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to deny you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got nothing up to Ah. Funny you should mention Magic Thunder, because bar that Flame Ruler just then, I haven't seen any of my Lightning cards. Um... I think now. What Legend spell were you on? Monster Reborn. Yeah, I have not seen Monster Reborn And I fight it in Pot of Greed, this game. Ah. Pot of Greed is a weird one, because we've been in a meta for a long time where having cards in your graveyard has been really, really important, and... Being able to see the correct cards rather than more cards has been more beneficial. But I think as yeah. we're developing, I actually do think the plus one from Pot of Greed is actually becoming more and more relevant. When we're at the stage where we don't need the graveyard set up as much because we can just turbo, you know, mill into the graveyard so it doesn't matter. As well as um, we, have, we have a lot more cards that get us to our combos. I don't think Graceful is going to remain as prominent as it has been and i think going forward like it might be months or even like a year into the future this becomes mainstream i wouldn't be surprised if pot of greed does start to overtake graceful charity just because plus one in rush is actually really good there are a lot of cards obviously like i mean your um higher who can just plus two you which is completely bonkers yeah. especially when it's it's not even like you know none of the cards you're getting are dead well i mean they have a chance to be right but like a lot of the other cards like um was it hand sewn draco like, you guarantee that you plus two, I think it was, but one of them is a, you know, zero attack monster that doesn't really do anything. But having a chance at just two good cards is just really, really good. Um, but yeah, both of these decks, I think, are really cool. Obviously, my deck does this whole loop thing, which is cool in its own right. Now, I understand it's not very cool to sit across the table from it, but being able to loop stuff is cool to do. Um, and on your side, we got, obviously, the big pyro stuff. Graphicus Archer is a really cool boss monster. Obviously, he's a bit one-dimensional, right? He's just a guy that gets attack, weakens your opponent, but that's all you really need, right? I think the Pyro deck is versatile enough that it doesn't necessarily need anything other than a Bungus, right? We've already got access to cards that can weaken your opponent's guys. You've got access to cards that can pop your opponent's back row. You've got access to a Maximum, which can do all of it. So I think Graphicus Archer is actually quite a welcome inclusion just because the deck does oftentimes struggle to just finish people off. And I think Graphicus Archer is a way to do that. The only negative, obviously, is that you now have to run all of this, like, normal support or just jam the level 7 normal with no support, which just feels a bit awkward. Yeah. So I don't know if it's going to be a mainstay going forward, but it's definitely an option at the very least. Yeah, and then just, again, for my deck, it's... <laughs> the new spell cards we got, I think, are actually what makes it really, really cool. Um, we got the extra support card. I actually have it in my graveyard right now. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one which is... um. You can send one or two monsters from your field and or great or field and or hand to the graveyard to draw some cards and then you can special summon level five back. Special summoning a level five specifically means you can get access to Warlock. Warlock can then turn everything else on because Warlock can go into Magician and 
witch, or it can go into like just anything else like that's high level. So it's, it's just a really good combo piece that kind of gets the loop going. Yeah. But with that, um, that's all of our regular week stuff gone. So next up, we've got our um, our kind of bonus. But you have already won this this uh, this set. So even though I've managed to claw back a, a win here, you are already the champion of transient of transcendence, whatever it's called. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, GG, buddy. GG.